How's it going traders? Welcome back to yet another version of Trader Talk. Um, it's amazing to have you guys back on my channel. Today, obviously, we're going to be jumping into some charts. As always, every single Tuesday or every single two Tuesdays, I always like to come on here and share with you guys what exactly it is I'm looking at at the moment. Now, before I get into that, I just got back from a very amazing trip just yesterday. Um, you guys know I live in Dubai now. And I just flew flew in from Dubai. I went to Doha, Qatar, actually, because some investors reached out to us and they were interested in investing in our fund. And best believe, they sent a private jet to come pick me up from Dubai, flew me all the way to Doha for us to close the deal. We had to speak terms and conditions and stuff like that. It was absolutely amazing. I haven't been on a jet in a while. You know, now why am I telling you guys this? When I approached them, no, not rather, when I went to the meeting, um, you know, and I asked them, well, what exactly was the attraction towards us? Why did you guys feel like, you know, Dapper Willis was, the, you wanted Dapper Willis to manage your money? Now, guys, it's a significant amount of money. Um, they, 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 they were very straightforward. They said, we've never seen a Forex trader, first of all, this consistent. Secondly, a Forex trader who is transparent. Apparently, they've been seeing my YouTube videos. And last but not the least, my return on investment is decent, but the drawdowns are very minimal, very, very minimal. So, and, and I, I just want to summarize with this, guys. You see, investors are not looking for massive returns, okay? They looked at both our trading styles, okay, the aggressive and the not so aggressive. And funny enough, they wanted the not so aggressive one. So, guys, I don't want to spend too much time talking about my trip to Doha in this video. I'm going to I'm going to release another video on Saturday whereby I go in detail. I'm going to be showing you guys videos. Maybe I'll just drop some pictures here. Some videos. My entire trip. I stayed in the Four Seasons Hotel, the best hotel in in, in Doha. That's why I stayed in. Got a big ass private jet came to pick me up. I have videos to show you guys that. So watch out for my video that comes out on Saturday, either Saturday or Sunday. No, probably Saturday by 6 p.m. Okay, watch out for that video. I'll be explaining to you guys what I said to them, how I was able to close the deal, my entire trip, all the luxury stuff that comes with being a trader who isn't aggressive, a trader who is relaxed, a trader who knows what they're doing. All the perks of understanding top-down analysis, you know, how to go on higher time frames to lower time frames, you know, how to look at a chart and be able to predict thousands of pips into the future, how to understand basically that trading is not a sprint but it's a marathon because at the end of the day the big boys that have all of the money are not looking for you to flip your the account overnight they won't even touch you so guys obviously we're going to jump into this video right about now so i just wanted to say a special shout out to my forex mastery students now um this this what i went out to do on what i went out to do yesterday and day before yesterday in qatar is a, is 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 a reflection of the fact that the forex mastery course does work and you can definitely achieve all the things that I've achieved in the past couple of days because I'm not trading anything different. All the stuff that I teach you guys on my on the Forex Mastery course and I share with you guys on YouTube is the same things that have landed me in the meeting room with some of the wealthiest people in the Middle East. Those guys are billionaires, okay? I'll drop another video, like I said, on Saturday. But all the things you've been learning, especially Forex Mastery students, keep, keep pushing. Keep, keep pushing. Your returns don't need to be ridiculous. They don't need to be fantastic. They don't need to be, like I say on the course, steadily, steadily grow the account, grow the account, grow the account, and people will be calling your phone. These guys literally, they're like, we want you. We've dealt with four previous Forex traders before in the past. They didn't give us any returns. They lost our money, but we've seen you. We like your style. We've seen your equity curve. As well, like I preach on the Forex Mastery course, I've seen your equity curve and I like it. Okay, it's relaxed, it's calm, it's growth. You know, this looks like a proper investment vehicle that is sustainable. So guys, once again, um, I'm going to jump into the charts. But if you haven't grabbed the course, the link is going to be down below as always. Forex Mastery students, I love you guys very much. Now, let's jump into the order of the day, which is AUDUSD. Now, let's go. All right, people, welcome inside of my screen. Now, um... Today, I'm not going to take too much of your time. I want us to quickly go over um, AUDUSD because, as you know, AUDUSD is one of my favorite pairs. Um, the last time I was, the last time I hopped on the chart, 
I think it was my webinar and then before that we had just encountered a loss on this pair now i want us to go over this pair i want us to discuss the loss we've already done that i'll quickly touch that i'll just quickly touch on the loss briefly and then i'm gonna obviously educate you guys on what's gonna happen next and where i see this market heading to in the near future so once again guys this is AUD USD. as you can see we have on a weekly time frame we have a head and shoulder head and shoulder pattern that has formed left shoulder head right shoulder and then we did break out and we're coming all the way to the downside so i had this massive you know i had about three sell positions really lined up nicely you know i was expecting the market to come up here we came shy of this region and then we started to push all the way back up. Now, guys, I know this is a weekly time frame. Uh, however, um, higher time frames always paint the, paint the better picture. I'll scroll scale down to a lower time frame so we can speak entries in a bit. But let's talk about this bad boy, right? So I was expecting, I mean, this is the next key level. I was expecting the market to come into this region about here, um, all the way down here. So I was stacking up a lot of cells. However, on a daily time frame, I noticed there was a bullish engulfing candle that jumped probably to up somewhere about here. Let me zoom this in properly. That jumped all the way up to somewhere around here. So I closed my trades, my sell trades, and then I obviously banked mm, a lot of money. I think it was about 16% profit. It was a lot, probably more than that. I can't remember exactly. So I'd made a lot of money coming down, and then we pulled all the way back into resistance, and I was expecting this market to roll over all the way to the downside down here. However, the market came shy of here for no apparent reason. Now, um, I was expecting, because this was a no-brainer trade all the way to the downside, sell positions were somewhere around here on a lower time frame, not higher time frame, I'm just trying to use this to, because on lower time frames, there's too many candles, people don't understand, it's crazy. Um, but higher time frames, because it compresses time, we can see things at a single glance, okay? So, um, um, so sell positions were somewhere around here. I was expecting this market to roll over. As you can see, this was next level target looking pretty nice, pretty fantastic. However, the market did give me a significant amount of profit all the way to this. You can see this right about here. And then we have a pin bar. And then this market rallied all the way to the upside and then stopped me out. So um, in all in all, um, I made a significant amount of money on this trade. And then I lo had one losing trade in this entire move um, if you add everything together which is absolutely fine i did an entire video about how to handle losses and how to come back from losses and ever since that video i think i've done another video after that i've just pretty much stayed away from the market because like i said to you guys sometimes it's not that the market it's just sometimes it's, it's not that the market just doesn't want to cooperate with you sometimes the market just wants to fulfill certain technical levels and from what i can see it's very evident that the market simply wanted to come and test the neckline, which is about here. So the neckline of this head and shoulder pattern that from left shoulder, head, right shoulder. So I was expecting, you know, I felt like, okay, this was going to be the resistance bar to hold the market, to push it down. However, we pulled back for an even more significant retest of this level and as you can see the market has now started to respect this level and eventually wants to head lower let me move this inside here so if i draw my trend lines as well you can see that yes indeed this is a very very fantastic and clear case of a third touch of the trend line and you can see it lines up pretty nicely with the neckline now these kind of trades are high probability trades and we've also come back down to close back down back down below this resistance bar sometimes when we breach a major level okay i usually like to wait for the market to come back and close back down below it now we've been able to do that right now we can now look for potential sell opportunities on AUD USD. very simple very straightforward i am anticipating AUD USD. i am still bearish i remember when the trade stopped us out a lot of people were like okay so are we now bullish i said i'm neutral because all the indicators were still pointing downwards it's possible that um you know you can want to get into a sell trade and then the market stops you out that doesn't mean that the whole bearish momentum is over it's just possible that the market just wants to come and respect another level here and if you look very carefully the market only came to test the outer trend line so you can see the first touch second touch third touch We've broken the inner trend line just because you've broken the inner trend line doesn't mean that the outer trend line isn't going to hold okay so once i was i was just watching the market and then you know i just chilled it was 
if we had broken this region and be like all right cool this market is now officially mad okay sometimes it's just not ready like i'm telling you guys it just it happens sometimes the market just isn't ready so when i saw this happen i my sell trades was somewhere about here now we can go over to the daily time frame to now start looking for trading opportunities uh, that we can potentially take in this game okay so what i actually did was my sell trades are somewhere actually all the way up here um so sorry guys my phone is going crazy oh guys i forgot to tell you forex mastery students if you log on to your dashboard if you log on to your dashboard as we speak um i have now updated the forex mastery course with a private telegram group only for the students okay so log on to your dashboard and get that because um on the private telegram group is only the students there we have the public one and we have now have the private one so get make sure you log into your dashboard get on that telegram group because that telegram group is the actual community of forex mastery students so you guys can share ideas it, the group has been amazing people are making a lot of money already as we speak on the group um so yeah and for those of you who haven't grabbed the course the link is going to be down just down in the description and sure to grab it if you want to be able to learn how to trade like this and be able to de decipher what exactly is happening now looking at AUD USD, i can see a very clear case of a something like this okay so AUD USD, what i feel is going to happen um to be very honest is this bad boy will probably push lower uh, you see, the, the, the issue with this now is there are a lot of things to my left. There are a lot of things to my left. Um, so what, what I usually like to do in this kind of scenario is I like to be a little bit patient. Let me come to a four hour time frame to see what exactly is happening. I like to be a bit patient with this because so let's come and map out some levels somewhere on here. There's too much going on here. It's a bit too much going on here. Okay, it's a bit too much going on here. So what I'm going to do in this situation is because of the fact that we're still inside of this, because of the fact that we're still inside of this kind of like wedge slash channel and a lot of levels left, right and center, I will be sitting on my hand when it comes to AUD USD at the moment. Yes, indeed, I have been able to decipher what the market is going to do next, but just being able to decipher what the market is going to do next doesn't always necessarily mean that you're going to be profitable. So a lot of people fail to realize um, you can get the direction correctly, but if the execution is wrong, you might run into issues. Once again, Forex Mastery students, I have also updated the course with my entry and exit strategy. Yes, has been updated on there. Check the module out, it's on there. How I enter and exit the market because you guys were going, sir, we want more strategies, entry and exit. I've given it to you guys. So if you haven't already, check it. If you haven't already seen it, go check it out. And those of you who haven't gotten the course, I suggest you go ahead and get it. The link is going to be down in the description as always. Now, just looking at this, AUD, USD, I am envisioning all the way to the downside here. At the moment, I don't see any good entry points for me. I am already short this trade all the way inside of here. Um, why am I short this trade? It's a very simple scenario. Um, Fibonacci from swing high to swing low about here. As you can see, this is a typical Willis zone setup. Forex mastery students, you know what a Willis zone is, right? So Willis zone setup, as the candle broke out of here, my sell trades were already were already done. So I'm going to be monitoring AUD USD at the moment. Um, it's a bit late for you guys to jump into the market. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to be watching this market for you guys potentially if we can pull back into this region right about here. Okay, this will be very juicy for you guys. If we can pull back into this region about here, I will be expecting further downside. So let me do some calculation here. So it's X to A to B to C to D. We still need to come and complete the wave count isn't over yet okay x to a to b to c to d if this bad boy wants put in an x to e wave pattern x to um, nope about 
here as far as next A to B to C to D to E. Hmm. So what I'm gonna do here is, as you can see, you guys are seeing me analyze this market live. No hiding, no hanky panky. If there are any issues, you'll be the first to hear it live here on Dapsy Radio. <laughs> Okay, so just be, by looking at AUD USD entries around this period was a bit risky. I'm already short this market. Uh, I've been, already been able to secure some money. Um, but in terms of if you can get in right about now, I'll tell you I have concerns about getting in right now. The first concern I have, and I have to share them with you guys so that you don't run into issues. The first concern I have is this level. It's a minor level, but it seems to be holding the market. The daily candle is looking bullish bullish engulfing okay the only way this level will be negated is if we pull back in here and then we splash all the way to the downside so if anything at all i will be looking for the market to pull into this region and then bleed all the way to the downside uh, but at the moment there just isn't any you know i don't think maybe if there's some news or any massive selling pressure maybe we can just drop but ideally this market should pull back into here before we obviously start rolling over to the downside so the overall play for AUD USD is gonna come the market is gonna come all the way down here we have that in the bank for me that is like 80 percent of the work done finding the entries has never been a problem okay finding entries has never been a problem but we just need to wait just a little bit to see what AUD USD wants to do um, so that we don't have two losing trades in a row on this pair. So um, that's AUDS for you guys in a nutshell. I'm currently short. I will be monitoring the trade. Because of this reason, I'll be releasing another trader talk next week, Tuesday, so that we can see if we've been able to find any potential entries into this market because best believe this trend line that is at the bottom is going to catch this market. At least it will bounce here a bit. I know that for a fact. Okay, I'm not going to come on here just because I want to give you a trade call and say, okay, sell now, buy now, and then you guys run into issues. No, let's talk like real traders. This is what we can see at the moment. We don't trade what we think, we trade what we see. Okay, and this is exactly what we can see. There is no selling opportunities at the moment. We do know it's coming down here. However, the market hasn't positioned in itself, it, it, itself in such a way whereby uh, we've been able to find any selling opportunities. Forex Mastery students, you know the entry and exit strategies, you know the criteria, you know what the market needs to look like before we get in and it is not presenting that at the moment. So AUD USD, I'm already short. For those of you who are not short, let's give it some more time. Maybe a couple more days this time next week, we should have selling opportunities. So let's go over to the next pair that's actually on my mind. Um, not GBP USD. GBP USD didn't give us any decent selling opportunity. Is the euro now? I remember telling you guys a long time ago about the euro. As you can see, the euro has finally gone to break. Has finally gone to break this neckline. It's head. It's double top neckline. As you can see, we've broken it pretty nicely i remember in january we were trying to rise the euro all the way up here it just was failing sometimes i keep telling you guys sometimes when you're trying to force a trade you're trying to why is it not visible and it just isn't happening leave it alone and as you can see the market has eventually given us a clear direction even around here we were struggling to find trading opportunities and now we've broken the neckline and not only have we broken the neckline we have broken this bad boy about here ladies and gentlemen we've broken this bad boy around here do you know what this means it means that we are now officially back inside of this range which is a good thing by the way let's clone this bad boy about here money can make me happy shining 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 yeah so as you can see we're now officially officially back inside of this range back inside of this big boy as you can see looking very nice looking very neat um so at this point we'll have to calculate what's 50 percent of this thing trading is actually very easy to be honest this is simple straightforward no need for calculate 50 percent of this bad boy delete this this needs to line up with this doesn't line up. Okay, dokey. Say this is more like it, but yeah. So that's sixty-one point eight percent. 
all right guys so now just looking at the euro um just looking at the euro this is not a major level this is a level that i feel the market will respect the major levels are between here and here now this is a clear case of an uptrend done and dusted why double top brick of neckline brick of trend line we are now officially making lower lows and lower highs lower lows so this uptrend is done we're now facing down once we start facing down on the higher time frame what do we do we've been able to establish the flow of the river we can then scale to a lower time frame and start looking for selling opportunities down here now i don't care whatever time frame you come to whatever time frame suits your trading needs and your trading wants and all that at least now we know that i can stand here or rather sit here and tell you categorically that you the euro is going to come to 1.11681 next level target however you choose to get into the market is entirely up to you my entry strategy has not been has not formed yet hasn't formed yet so just like AUD USD um, and Euro USD I'll be giving it another week although I know where it's coming to obviously if we take out this level guys look at all this space god damn it's a huge drop 1.1 guys does this mean we're going to come to parity I've seen one analysis if I if I do this analysis I'll do it properly again tomorrow and see what exactly is happening I think the euro might want to be at parity with the US dollar probably if I do this analysis and then I I go on Bloomberg and I talk about it everybody and then it happens you're like oh my god this guy is a magician like no nah, it's so like it's basic price action techniques that I teach on the Forex Mastery course by the way for those of you who haven't gotten it the link is going to be down below as always people wonder why do you keep talking about your course I'm like dude that's the best shit that's ever happened to Forex period <laughs> period if you know you have something that is good why not talk about it I'm not ashamed to keep talking about it. I'll keep talking about it anyway so the euro we're expecting the euros a soft landing about here if we break down here so guys this is from 1.1357 wow it's a huge drop that this euro might have this is we're looking at at, at least a thousand pips a thousand pip drop at least can your mentor do this your trading strategy can he tell you a 1000 pip drop is about to happen no nope, can't okay it can't can your strategy and your indicators tell you this no only the top-down analysis tells you that euro is going to drop 1000 pips ladies and gentlemen i'm just joking <laughs> anyways guys so that's it for me once again um i'm looking is there any other thing i haven't gone over let's look at bitcoin briefly let's look at btc 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 is stalling btc is stalling hey my guys are panicking btc is stalling btc is stalling why is btc stalling btc is stalling because we didn't exactly clear the previous highs at 64k properly this is not looking good for bitcoin i won't lie to you guys <laughs> what i'm seeing here is if the if this if if guys pray if you have bitcoin eh, pray to god that they that he clears the 64,000 level just pray because if he doesn't i promise you guys this is looking like a massive reversal let's look at the monthly time frame just pray ah i know a lot of people that will go bankrupt if this thing happens so at the moment bitcoin is currently trading at at the moment bitcoin is currently trading at this resistance zone on the weekly time frame i can see a bearish engulfing candle although today is just tuesday so let's pray that this thing doesn't close like if this thing closes like this and we open like this again on monday oh um bitcoin is coming down to 42k and if this 42k doesn't hold double top on the higher time frame like this it might bleed all the way down to 30k i'm not even gonna lie to you guys so my own is i don't trade cryptocurrency i don't care for it that much i just look from a technical standpoint and trust me technicals are always right just pray put on from it from a from a positive perspective I'm expecting Bitcoin to come to $80,000 about here, to be honest. This is my overall target for Bitcoin um, in the nearest future. 80K, I'm, 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 I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful for you guys and Bitcoin. I'm hopeful for you guys and Bitcoin. Let me delete this. 
I'm hopeful for you guys and Bitcoin. Mm? I'm really, really hopeful for you guys and Bitcoin because I know a lot of you guys are watching this are cryptocurrency enthusiasts. So this is exactly what is happening at the moment. Bitcoin is struggling to clear previous highs at 64K. Um, this is a huge de deciding area because if for any reason the market is unable to clear this area and the technicals stand in regards to a double top, the market will respect the double top. I don't care what Elon Musk says, what anybody says. The market will tank. On the flip side, which I hope is going to happen, um, this, this market has been putting in higher highs and higher lows. So this is a higher, high, higher low, higher, high, higher low. And I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that this actually rockets all the way to the upside. upside. So at the moment for Bitcoin, things are a bit 50-50. Okay, things are what a bit 50 50 at this point. Okay, so I'm just gonna a bounce off of this bar will be amazing. If we can bounce off of this bar, in fact, if we bounce off of this bar, I'll even be looking to 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 purchase some Bitcoin myself, just a little, maybe probably buy like two Bitcoin, two, 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 three Bitcoin, and just see what happens. You know, just hold it all the way up to 80 84k thereabout. You know, so as always, I'm a technical analyst. I always do things from a technical standpoint. So, guys, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. AUD USD not ripe to come down. Euro USD, they're all going to come down. All these Euro USD, AUD USD is coming down. GBP USD is coming down. The dollar is winning at the moment. Um, we just need to be a bit patient for the trades trade setup to ripen to ripen. And for those of you who are crypto traders who are asking yourself, should I get the Forex Mastery course? Will it teach me how to trade crypto? Well, on the Forex Mastery course, you can use the price action ideologies for your crypto charts as well. I don't go in depth into the background and history of crypto. I'm not going to lie. Um, but as you can see, I have used technical analysis to predict all the moves that are happening on cryptocurrency. If you think I'm joking, scroll down to my YouTube channel. I predict the market for fun. The, the same price action techniques that work for currency also work for Bitcoin in itself, okay? Bitcoin and some other major crypto. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, the link for the Forex Mastery course is gonna be down below. Thank you for staying to the very end. Sorry, I just ate, so my chest is hurting me a bit. I hope I've been able to add value. Don't forget to um uh, don't forget to watch out for my video coming out on saturday next week don't forget to hit up my favorite broker infinite capital the link is going to be down below and once again the forex mastery course is up for grabs in the description below so guys let's go over to my other screen so that i can end this video let's go all right guys thank you for staying till the very end of that video as you can see that stopped the charts pretty nicely um giving you guys all the insight as to what the market is going to do next you know me i'm a magician on these charts man if i say a a is most likely going to happen although sometimes a slash b happens sometimes 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 you know but you know how it goes so guys thank you for staying to the very end of this video if you haven't already grabbed the course the link is going to be down below as always watch out for my video that's coming out on saturday where i'll be showing you guys my entire trip to qatar to my entire trip to doha qatar and how i was able to still seal some millions of dollars in investment all right guys take it easy and peace out